I do not speak English well. Even if it is difficult to understand, please judge yourself. To raise the parrot well for, if you raise the bird one alone, these things happen. Parrot hairs are piled up in a straw-like cap, so if a single parrot is raised, the hairs on the areas where the beaks cannot reach the hairs are sharpened because the hair protection cap is pushed into the beak and the hairs cannot be unfurled. So the parrot likes to scratch his hair with a head in the sense that he wants to polish his hair. When you raise only one parrot, there are various problems as well. When you raise only one parrot, I will explain some of the problems when it comes to becoming a priority. If you leave the parrot alone for too long, even if it is a bird, it becomes a stupid bird that cannot even do the most basic mating. First, I will explain the change in female parrots that have grown up to be lonely. Parrots are born alone, but when they become sisters, they bear eggs. When a parrot females are grown up alone, even if they do not have a male partner, the female rubs her genital part by instinct, rubbing it against a bowl of rice, a new toy or perch. After doing such an act for a few days, the male and female meet and mate with each other by the illusion and have the eggs. The eggs produced by these birds are fuzzy because the male and female did not mate normally. No matter how much this egg is, it does not hatch and it consumes only parrot. If this behavior repeats itself, the parrot may die because of a loss of physical strength. It is regrettable to see that the female alone is laying eggs. The new owner finds the female male in a female cage and puts it in a female cage, but the female refuses to mate with the male. There are cases in which a female is born with an unborn child under the illusion that she has made a normal mating with her reproductive organs on the same thing as a rice bowl. The reason for doing this abnormal behavior is that the parrot has been growing for so many years alone and it is like a phenomenon resulting from trying to solve everything alone by thinking that it is easy to be alone regardless of who is next to it. Even if a male feeds a female in an expression of courtship, a female can eat only a male and eat, and mating is a dish. The bird that grew up alone as a loner for so many years becomes a strange bird that even forgets its instincts. So how about a parrot male who grew up alone for a long time alone? Males, like females, attach parts of their genitals to perches or rice bowls and perform acts of charity. In some cases, the genital part is torn down and blooded. Birds are basically very wild animals. Because of this wildness, it is very difficult for a person to prevent the propagation of parrots. So what should we do to correct this perverse instinctive act? First of all, it is a good idea to put a pair before the action is done, that is, before the birds are born. There is one of the most important points in gender mapping. This is a male who is born first, even if the male is at least one week older than the female. Most parrots are mating with females under the control of a male. However, in the case of the Moran parrot or the Eclectus parrot, mating occurs under the dominance of the female. The birds that are mated under the control of a female are also better off if the males are born before the female. If you raise your parrot here, in order to correct the sexual act of the person doing such a distorted instinctive act. The cage which is more than 10 times bigger than the existing bird cage changes the surrounding environment so that birds can fly away, if you put together male and female. It may be corrected after 4 to 6 months. However, this crooked behavior is not well fixed, and it is best to match the female pairs before they become a big group.